Yes, it is a fantastic day today. Um, 100 years ago, Einstein predicted uh, that I, uh, uh, gravitational wave existed. And at the time, he made the comment that oh, they're too small, we can't see them. And 100 years onwards, we, we actually now detected and observed gravitational waves. Observe, uh, gravitational waves, they are ripples in the space-time fabric, I guess we say that. And what that means is that the bodies are uh, moving uh, further apart or closer if there is a an, uh, an, 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 uh, wave coming through. In the same fashion, if you put uh, a pebble in the water and there's ripples on it, um, and that's how we uh, yeah, look, look at them. And so, and, and is this movement, these waves, are they, are they only created by, by, by very large unexpected incidents or are they created all the time by, by heavenly bodies simply moving through space? Yeah, fair enough. So um, those massive um, uh, objects, they, when they're accelerating towards each other, then they're um, uh, emitting those gravitational waves. And then when they hit to each other and merge say, in, a, in a single part, right. as what we have observed, then there is this ripple going through the universe. And what we've seen, we've seen basically two black holes uh, colliding into, into, into each other to create a single black hole and that is uh, about 1.3 billion years ago it happened and the light of those those waves travels through the cosmos and then suddenly came across the earth and made the earth sort of, sort of have a little jiggle and that's what we with the detectors we built in the US with the LIGO interferometers um, we've seen those jiggles and that showed us that there was an event happening so many years ago. And so what's enabled us to, to finally see it now? Uh, I think the technology over the, the decades of research and developments all across the world and, and in Australia as well, um, to make those machines so incredibly sensitive that we can measure tiny, tiny displacements um, and um, have it operational in uh, starting in, in uh, mid, mid last year and have that running for continuous for about four months. And it's, it's just the hard work of about a thousand scientists around the world to put together such a very, very sensitive machine. So, Bram Sagmolan, what does it mean then for us? Do these gravitational waves have any consequence for, for Earth or, or other planets or other parts of the solar system? And what does the technology mean that we can now do? Yeah, fair enough. So, uh, the, the, the discovery of, of those gravitational waves won't build those uh, new spaceships or motors or engines to, to go further into the universe. But what it does give us, it gives us a new window to look into the universe, akin uh, looking or sorry, listening with the ears and watching with the, the telescopes and then combine them together into a multi-messenger astronomy so we can get an even better, more detailed picture of the universe. Look, it's a fascinating uh, development. Congratulations to everyone involved. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.